Hey guys, today what we're going to be doing is looking at on how to expand our number system. And essentially what we are going to do is be able to classify numbers. So before we get to the homework, I just want to review what this is. So we're going to uh, look at what a natural whole, integer, rational, so on and so forth numbers are. So let's start with natural number. Natural numbers are known as counting numbers. It starts, by, uh, starts at 1 and it just goes up by the numbers with no decimals or no fractions. So what do I mean by that? One two, three, four, so on and so forth. The next set of numbers is whole numbers. Whole numbers are the same as natural numbers, but it also includes zero. So it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Integers are very similar to whole numbers, except it includes their negative counterpart. So while it also includes zero, one, two, three, it also includes negative one, negative 2, negative 3, so on and so forth. Now rational numbers is when we introduce fractions and decimals, certain type of decimals I should say. So what a rational number is any number that could be written as a fraction. So for instance, 1 fifth, or if I have 0.3, you can write 0.3 as 3 tenths, um, these are all rational numbers. Now rational numbers can also be written as decimals that go on forever and repeat. So what do I mean by that? One third is equivalent to 0.333 repeating, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, two thirds is 0.666 repeating over and over and over. Um, it doesn't need to be just uh, one number repeating. It can be something like 0 0.083 with the 3 just repeating over and over and over. All these numbers can be written as fractions. Um, the other thing is it includes everything before it, so negative 1, 0, 1, so on and so forth. It includes all the integers, whole numbers, natural numbers, so on and so forth. So our last one, what we're going to be looking at is irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that go on forever, but they do not repeat. The most famous one is pi, so 3.14, so on and so forth. This cannot be written as a fraction. Also, the square root of, an, uh, of a non-perfect of a non -perfect square, such as the square root of 2, square root of 3, so on and so forth. And in the future, you're going to learn about the letter E and what number that is. Okay. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and classify these numbers. Uh, before we go that, I want to do uh, show you one more thing. Whatever the number is, wherever it starts, it's going to be everything after that. So what do I mean by that? If it is a natural number, it is also a whole number, it is also an integer, it is also a rational number. If it's an integer, it is it just goes up. It is a rational number and a real number. Uh, the last thing that we did not talk about is real numbers are all these types of numbers. Anything that's here. So someone might ask, well, what is a non-real number? A non-real number would be something like uh, 5 over 0. You can't have a 0 in the denominator, okay? Um, so once again, if it's a natural number, it is also a whole number integer rational. If it is a integer, it is an integer rational real. If it's just a rational number, it's rational real. And if it's irrational, it's also irrational real. Okay. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and look at this chart. I have one third. Uh, if it helps you out, we can make a little quick cheat sheet. So this is like one, two, three. This is zero, one, two. This is negative one, zero, one. Uh, rational numbers is fractions decimals, and any of these before it. Irrational number is like pi, and a real number is any of those as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. One third, that is a fraction. So since it's a fraction, I start with the rational number, and since it's a rational number, it is also a real number. Negative 0.375 that is also a decimal that ends, so that is also a rational number and a real number. Now this one's interesting. You cannot take a square root of a negative number, so therefore this is all blank. It is none of those. That's a non-existent number. 
Uh, negative square root of 81. Well, the square root of 81 is 9, and then you still have that negative in front of it, so it's negative 9. So that would be an integer and a rational number and a real number. Um, here I have a decimal that goes on forever, but the same number repeats. So therefore, that is a rational number and a real number. Let's say I give you a number like 7. That would also be a natural, whole, integer, rational, real. Okay, So hopefully that helps. Now it says, represent the given set of number lines. So natural numbers less than 5. So natural numbers are the counting numbers. It starts at 1. And I'm just going to put a dot on these numbers here. These are all the natural numbers that are less than 5. I'm not shading in between because that would represent a decimal. And I would not shade 0 because that would be the whole numbers. So integers, those are positive and negative numbers that are not fractions, that are uh, from negative 1 to 2. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2. All right, so hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or your teacher.